with the newest uh, software update for PS3, you get an icon under the, the network category, which okay. is Folding at Home. If you click on that icon, you can choose to install the Folding at Home application. Download that, then every time after that, if you ever want to run it, you just click on that icon and it'll run. You can also auto start, have it auto start if your PS3 is idle. Let's pretend that <laughs> I don't know what protein folding is. Just okay. for pretend, because okay. I totally do. <laughs> I, I totally know what that is. But let's pretend I didn't. What is protein folding? Okay, so first of all, the one thing that's important to notice is that if you don't understand anything about it, you can still help just by running this. You don't okay. need to know anything about protein folding. You just click on it. We're already helping, by the way, okay. Stanford, try to find these cures. So what protein folding is, is folding is a term, that, scientific term they use for the reshaping of the protein molecule. So when proteins do what they're supposed to do, so they change their shape to do what like the genetic code needs to have happen. And that process of changing shape is folding. And so it happens really, really fast in the nanosecond scale. So what this is is a simulation of those folds happening with different conditions and different starting states. And they're running lots and lots of different starting points and tests with different proteins and different conditions in the environment. So what they're going to do is gather all that information and get a, a simulation of the, the likelihood of what states should happen and what states shouldn't happen. And the diseases are when the protein goes to a shape it shouldn't have gone to. Okay. And so proteins are always folding. Sometimes they misfold, and that's okay. a problem. And that's what this is looking for? This is trying to understand those misfolds and what causes them, like what conditions make the misfold more likely and things like that. As far as Sony goes, we're enabling Stanford to do the science they want to do. Okay. Stanford right now is focused on... Um, uh, the, the one they're focused most on is Alzheimer's disease. And there's certain other diseases related to that. There's, uh, I'm not a science expert on this okay. either, but there's some cancers and uh, Hodgkin's disease and some other diseases like that that are, have similar kind of problems in the protein folding. So, so Stanford originally, when they made folding at home, they made it so that you could kind of have these teams. It's very, very loose. You can just, anyone could be on a team with you. You can't kick anyone off of a team. Everyone just, is, it's all, you know, in a good cause. So, and then you can measure how much of the folding that you've done and your team has done. So a lot of the overclocker community actually got interested right. in this. They want to show off how fast their PCs are and things. Uh -huh. So they make teams for like Australia's overclockers is one of the okay. biggest teams. One of the differences with us, all the PS3s are the same. So mm -hmm. they'll all be going at the same speed. But they'll be going much faster than the PCs will. So if a oh. group of PS3s are together on a team, they'll, you know, get, they'll rack up the, the points much faster. Oh, so you can join a team with the PC users. If you wanted to, you could. So the PS3 is actually able to do this faster than your average PC? Mm -hmm. Why is that? So the, the cell processor in the PS3 is actually really good at this kind of a computation. Yeah, it's, it's one of the reasons we kind of picked to go with this project is it, it's such a good match. Mm -hmm. It's really good at this floating point kind of calculation that's done on this molecule. So it's about 20 to 30 times faster than an average PC. So. Wow. And can you can change anything else about like how the, the visuals look? If you want to interact with it, there's a lot of things we, that are built in the application that are, are kind of more appealing to the, the people who own this kind of system, video short game of, players. Span. <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of an organic, kind of weird, right. kind of like almost liquid, I don't know. That's one kind yeah. of way the scientists, these are actually things scientists actually use to visualize. Here's the space fill mode. So this is kind of another way to visualize what's going on. All these are abstract representations of the atoms. This one maybe is the one that chemistry students might be the most familiar with. Each one of the spheres is an atom, and each one of the sticks is a bond between the atoms. Mm -hmm. So you can get this kind of a chemistry 101 look at this. Uh -huh. And actually, this is pretty exciting to the research community, too. They've never really had a a graphic system so powerful they could look at these things as they're right. folding. As they're you folding. Know. Yeah. So in the background what you see here is actually the planet Earth. Oh, if, I, wow. if I circle around here, here's the US. And if you see there, you can see these kind of yellow mm -hmm. lights. Those actually, this right now is um, before we've gone live with the system. So we're simulating all the PS3s in the US here that are actively participating in folding. So when we go live with this, you'll actually will, everyone who owns a PS3 and is connected will show up as a little yellow dot. 
And so all the other people working on it, you can see them at the same time. So once these proteins get folded and they get uploaded and Stanford gets them, what, what, what is the eventual goal? What is the hope that this will do? So all this data is kind of gathered by the Stanford servers and then the, the research scientists at Stanford go through the data and try to un understand it and make a kind of a model of the protein. And then they use it actually to go and do experimental research where they actually take you know, a microscope and look at proteins under a microscope. Just doing that without this kind of data would be, they'd have to do so many experiments, it would be infeasible. So this actually really helps them narrow what they're looking for and things like that. No, and I think it's, it's easy. You don't yeah. have to do anything other than yeah. hit one button. It's all to. completely optional. If there is some asshole that, out there who's like, no, I don't want to help people find a cure for cancer, this is optional. You opt into it. it doesn't, it's not automatically downloaded into the update. No. It's just an option. Yep. Well, there. Assholes will be happy. <laughs> but if you don't download it, you're kind of automatically an asshole. <laughs>